Hello everybody, um, for today's video I'm going to be revamping this chalkboard um, but I'm not going to keep the chalkboard, it's um, quite old so um, it's got things on the back so I want to decorate the back and the front and it's got this nice little ledge and uh, so I'm going to be decorating that. I'm going to be using um, an assortment of Imagination Crafts products and um, I've got this lovely rice paper with all kitty cats on and I'm going to be using this image here. I might add a few other kitty cats as well but I'm not sure yet so um, that's the project for today. So I'm going to turn you to overhead and we'll make a start. Okay, so I've taken the heart off and I'm going to use that later on. And what I've done is I'm taking out the board. And I'm going to paint this with um, my white gesso. First of all, I want to spritz, spritz it the gesso is quite thick and glue and really nice and I need a paintbrush don't I? I need some brushes oh let's see I want my paintbrush and I'm just going to give it a quick coat there we go So that's just the first coat I want to give it. I'm going to just put that to one side and let it dry. There we go. So I'm going to pop that to one side, let it dry. And then I'm going to paint, give this a, a coat of paint. Uh, yeah. So while I'm painting this, I'll play some music and uh, speed it up. so that's the front all painted now I do want to paint the back of it as well so I'll then um, I'll come back when it's all painted okay so both the back and front have been painted now and I've actually painted this as well so the, for the next step what I'm going to do is I've got um, this ivy and I'm going to be using my stretch paste and I'm going to um, I'm going to put the ivy down both sides flourish which I really do like and I'm going to do this on the bottom here so whoops 
that wasn't clever. Maybe I should have done this first. Never mind. I'll just leave that for a minute. And what I'll do is, I know I want this piece of the flourish up on the top. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to hold it down. She says, hopefully. Move that out of the way. There we go. And after looking at that for a minute, I'm not really happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape it all off. Because I didn't like it. And I'm going to get one of my other folders out. I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, what a conundrum I'm not sure what I want to do let's see let's see let's just pop that over to one side I know we want this in the middle uh, going maybe like that Let's just snip this out the way. to use some of my stones round here so then I need um, a flourish of some sort up here so maybe I could do one of the flourishes up there like that so maybe I'll do a flourish up there like that and then that can go there and then around the bottom I'm going to put some men stones so let's see my head is not right today I just kind of indecisive on what I want to do. I'm sure you get these like that too. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. That looks really good. And if I put the, the, that there, and then I want, what I want to do is I want to put some stones around here, the bottom, and in, do put some little flowers inside it. You know, the little, little um, blossoms. So yeah, so that needs to be left to dry now. So I need to put that somewhere so it'll dry. And do you know what I think I might do? I might do some of these flowers. If I do that flower like that. So it's there. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to put kind of pearls along, along here. 
and um, yeah, I will. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, I do apologise. So I might put that one going. Yeah, I'll just do that one. I think they maybe and I'll have that flower there. do is um, I need to put that to one side so I don't lose it. They can go over there. That can go over there because that needs washing. So I've got to put this now to one side and let it completely dry. In the meantime I want to bring this in and I want to get the top So I want this and my stones and my uh, glue. Oops. Let's just put that there. So what I'm using so what I'm going to use next, as I said, it this these are predominant well they're all they're all imagination crafts products so the next thing I want to use I want to use the magic bond which is a high strength glue and again you can find all imagination crafts products on a uh, crafters companion website which is www.crafterscompanion.co.uk you can get them in America and you just put um, www crafterscompanion.com so with my glue I'm just going to just add in my glue this is how I add, 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 add my stones my art stones I've got different sizes you can make nice I love this glue it's, it really does hold my stones I've tried so many different others others stones right okay Right, so I'm going to go in with large ones. I'm just going to add a few large ones. Oh. This must be one of my new ones. I could have sworn I've used these before. a few I hope you can see what I'm doing Oops. I want them all different sizes so just working my way round
hope that is filled now can you see just really like that and with the pussy cat and then in between these I'm going to add some little flower little buds tiny roses so, so that's that so I, I need to leave these now and let them completely dry and then I'm going to give it uh, go over it with some star lights so while that's drying I'm going to go and have some lunch and I'll be back later okay everything is all nice and dry now so I'm going to here comes the fun part I'm going to paint it and um, I've got some really nice decorations that I want to share with you just pull this out a bit so you can see there we are that's better isn't it so um, I've got I'm going to put a rose there and the heart that I said before I'm going to use that and I've got some little pink and white rose buds that are going to go I'm going to place inside there so I've got five of them and then on the top here I've got these two nice cabochons and I'm going to put some pearls across there so that's the plan okay so for the base of this I am going to use uh, starlight metallics in chestnut so let's see if I can get it out There we go. Get my palette knife. And I am going to use one of my stippling brushes and I'm going to stipple all around. And this goes a long way. As you can see, I've only put a little bit on. Can you see? Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to uh, fast forward and play you some music. I hope you enjoy. front done with the um, stippling brush and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, finish the other side and I'll come back to you when this is all done so the back and the front of that is done as you can see 
so I'm going to just pop that to one side for a minute and um, for for the inside of this I've decided to go with cyclamen and um, again starlight so I'm going to just put some on there I want my stipple brush I like pink and brown together and I just thought it looked really nice so I'm going to stipple the heart not very might need two layers I'll just do the one side of it first and let that dry so as you can see the shimmer and all I'm going to do is just stipple all across here now one side now to dry as so if you can see the texture okay so the next thing I want to do before I start adding anything onto here any of that my embellishments first thing I need to do is plug in my glue gun now and then um, we're going to have fun. We're going to have some fun. So I've got the white gold gilding wax. Uh, no, it's not gilding wax. I beg your pardon, it isn't. It's starlight wax. I'm going to put a little bit on here. I'm going to get a dry brush. work it on my my brush and then I'm just going to go over the embossing that I've done the stenciling a big pardon not embossing go around the edges too much there and taking it off and sweet just sweep the 
the brush up and down very lightly so it shows you the grain underneath thing I want to do is add my embellishments so I'm going to add my leaf real transformation from what it was I just got to leave that a bit that's still damp so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my heat gun in and dry everything off now so the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to add a bit of gold highlight the the rose so it all kind of put a bit of gold on the leaf as well and some of the onto the rose just so it all ties together so that's that done um, I'm just going to run just going to run my brush across the beads, pearl trimming. Just so it all ties in together. Just gives it that nice, can you see? And the, the rose has just got a touch of gold on it. And I'm just going to do the same to this. If I can grab it, it's been a little monkey. There we go. Just want to go round the edges. I like everything to to marry up together. And you can see the stippling on the on the rose. Just what I put at the heart, not rose, it's a flipping heart. There we go. And I can go there like that. I love altering um, different things. So, next thing I want to use in my decoupage glue. I am going to whoops add some decoupage on my my sweet little my sweet little pussy cats and then from I'm just going to A 
lift that up, you can see. Let's see, little pussy cats. I just love them. Actually, I'm going to use some archival ink to do the script on. So, I'll have that there like that. I should have it like that. Hmm. I'm trying to see what's for the best. I think I'll have some up there. To do now is just do a little bit of dry brushing over this and on my uh, on the baubles. I'm not doing the whole of it, just on the just to make these pop a bit. my roses apart from adding my roses now to to this which I'm going to do after I put it together Just how's that for a good guess? <laughs> I'm quite chuffed with that, I'm quite pleased with that. So, right, okay. So, last thing I want to do is add my um, my flowers, and I'm going to use my magic bond. I'm just going to add them here and there on the little baubles. And that is today's project complete. As I said, I will do. Um, I will do a a, um, a close up of it. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I um, hope it's not too long for you. I do try and um, make it as short as possible because I know everybody's busy. But those that do watch my videos, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you visiting my YouTube channel and leaving your comments, even a thumbs up, which is really, really nice. Um, I have had a few down, down thumbs, but as part and parcel of being part of YouTube. Um, thanks, everybody. And until next time, happy crafting. 
and bye bye for now.